Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting review and another Nido by Lushes uh, festival. This one is from um, Hackelberg Boy, located in the town Passau in the eastern part of Nido Bayern. And it comes in this NRW bottle shape as you can see, and it's a Jubiläums Bia. Uh, here you can see the top cap for 400 Jahre Reinheitsgebot. Uh, and here is the uh, Labels, very interesting looking labels, very beautiful looking labels in my opinion of, uh, of this Jubiläum Spiel from Hackelberg Passau. Here's the logo of the brewery, here's the back label. Very, I, I, I really like when it's a very complicated logo or beautiful looking complicated logo that it's having much to see like in this case. So that's why I'm choosing this Jubiläum Spiel from uh, Hackelberg Boy in uh, Passau in Nidobarn and it's quite a large brewery uh, it's one of the largest in the area I believe and it's also one that I look forward to a lot I do have one other beer from this brewery that I'm also that I considered to review but I'm gonna review it in the future is the the Urhel, which of course is the most sold one from this brewery but uh, because of the beautiful looking label I did choose the Jubiläum um, Spiel instead but uh, Urhel is gonna be reviewed in the future of course so one closer look at the label once again of this Jubiläums beer from Hackelberg Passau. And with that said, let's open up the bottle. Always right time for Jubiläums beer from Nidalbayon, uh, of course. Let's pour it up into the for the best of well fitting glass. Always important to use the right type of glass um, for the beer cell that you're reviewing from, in my opinion. Uh, in this case, I really like this type of glass or Krug. For uh, I think it, it fits most of the <coughs> Bavarian beer styles real much. As you can see, a nice uh, maybe three finger white foam crown, very thick white foam crown, and a beautiful appearance, pale golden yellow appearance, and a nice white foam crown also making it look really really nice in my opinion, <coughs> and of course gives a real nice impression and. Um, yeah, it has been. Uh, I'm having high, very high expectations of it, basically. So let's pour up some more of it. Let's get the aroma, which is very fresh, of course, extremely fresh, and um, making me. Uh, I'm longing very much to try it, of course. So let's see if we can pour up, pour up at all, or if we have to wait a little bit. You see, the foam is very, very big at the moment. Um, and that's of course what I like, this is how a Jubiläum spiel or fest beer should look with a foam above the edge of the glass, far above the edge of the glass. Doesn't this, this look beautiful with a big foam and that's how a beer should look, a Bavarian beer, really Bavarian style in my opinion to have this big foam head. Now, as you can see, it's appearance, doesn't this look beautiful? So, very high expectations of it, the uh, heaven. Uh, no, the uh, Hackelberg boy. Let's give it a try. Hackelberg. Jubiläumsbier. Prost. Yeah. Very, very fresh and nice, of course. Really rich taste. And this is how an um, Jubiläumsbier or Festbier or Export should taste. Really strong and beautiful taste of it. High quality raw materials, that, that something that I easily can feel in the ingredients and um, in the taste and I really can recommend it also. Hope you're gonna visit Brew's website also, really nice website and really nice brewery. Let's take a close up look at the label once again of this Hackelberg 400 Jahre Jubiläums Bier and see what it says here on the bottle. Brauerei Hackelberg 1668, Hackelberg Passau Brauerei, Hackelberger Boy Gegründet 1618. 400 Jahre Hackelberg. Seit 1618. 400 Jahre Passauer Brautradition. Jubiläumsbier. Äh, anlässlich des äh, 375 Jahre Jubiläums äh, der Brauerei Hackelberg wurde dieses Festbier erstmals gebraut und zum äh, 400 Geb Geburtstag mit Hallertauer Aromhopfen verfeinert. Uh, gebaut nach dem Bayerischen Reinheitsgebot vom 15. und 16. Zutaten, was der Gersmannshopfen ähm, 
optimale trinktemperatur 729 degrees Celsius på Irish Spire Kulundtugelagen. Höckelberg i hergestellt von der Brauerei Höckelberg 94034 Passau. Ja, that's the information on the bottle. And of course this bottle is gonna look nice in my collection of beers also that I'm having a collection of empty bottles. I really like to, to collect them. Uh, my books about power and brewers, do you know if you've been following my channel since before, here's this book my Markus Raupasch, here's Raupa Hackelberg, which is located in Bavaria, the eastern part of Niederbayern as I mentioned, and uh, information that is recommendation Hackelberg Urhel with 4.9% volume, Raupa Hackelberg, 1618, uh, Günther uh, Obermeier is the brewmaster, uh, and um, Hackelberg Boyhouse Platz 394034 in Passau. Uh, Hackelberger Bräustübel is on the Boyhouse Platz 7 in Passau. That's the information from that book. Uh, let's take some more information from Red's Bruce website, which I'll of course link to. Uh, from the Fox Den and the treetops in the district of the Th Three River uh, of Passau, you can uh, See a drastic clearing on the slope of the wooded Hackelberg, the shape of which resembles a mighty fox den, surrounded by a green mall of the magnificent treetops. The walls of the Hackelberg brewery shine in the middle of the Fuchsbau. So, via uh, I und Epoch und our master brewers have been uh, conjuring up their own beer specialties with pride since 1619. We don't need magic spells in Hackelberg nor we dance in uh, incantations around our brew kettles, and yet the brew executes in impressive magic of epochal events and untold stories. We experience stucco and magnificence history at the Hackelbergel Fürstenboy, Fust decorated with works of art and wall paintings from past centuries, primeval redwoods and uh, cosiness. Right next door, the Hackelberg Beer Garden shines in its all glory. Rare tree specialties such as primal redwoods and cypresses stretch their branches more than 30 meters into the white blue sky under the shady shelter of the sun-drenched leaves. Coziness spreads out in the bear garden. People laugh, people drink, people relax. Just let go and look forward to uh, Hackelbergel. Sounds of course very promising and really nice. And this is a big recommendation. The Hackelbergel Jubiläumsbier. It has been a pleasure to enjoy it and of course I'm gonna look forward to the other one from this brewery, this one, Hackelberg Urhel, which of course also looks real nice. Uh, so that's always something very positive to enjoy this. Uh, Bavarian beer specialties like this one is a good example of. But uh, yeah, I really hope that you like my channel too. Hope you like my reviews of the Bavarian uh, beers and uh, see you again in the next Bavarian beer review.